Nope, 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 nope. We need to stop. Stop the intro right now. Listen, people. There is no time. There's no time to waste. Listen, the trailer for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare came out today. This morning. came out this morning. I've been sitting at work all day. Really, really, really wanted to watch it. However, I wanted to wait so I can do a little bit of a breakdown and check it out for myself with you guys. You guys are going to be watching it with me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe down below if you're Lou. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. All right, so here's our first little bit of look into into the spaceships that are actually going to be in this game. So right now we have spaceships confirmed. So pretty much just massive chaos. This is a full Oh my god. For those of you who don't know, this game is definitely made by Infinity Ward. They made all of the Call of Duties up until Call of Duty 4, and then they started to branch off with other with other game developers. So they made Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty PC, 2, 3, modern, the original Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, most recently Ghost, and now we got this game coming from them. They're an awesome studio. They put out really, really awesome work, but they unfortunately have a really bad name um, because of the game of Ghost that they put out. Not a lot of people liked it. I, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it, so I'm hoping that they can definitely put out an awesome game for us this year. Before I play any more of this, just keep in mind that, that this is only a campaign trailer. Some of this may or may not actually include itself in the multiplayer. Just keep that in mind as we go along. We probably won't get a multiplayer trailer until sometime August, late summer. But this scene right here looks like like a maybe like a like a nuke or something. It looks like a nuke dropped, massive devastation, people are dying. Typical Call of Duty campaign. Breaking news out of Switzerland. Geneva has suffered a massive attack. So this is the first look that we actually have into some of the characters in the game. This girl, I don't really know much about her. I'm guessing that she's going to be one of the main characters because she showed up quite a bit. I don't know if that patch on her arm is a certain country that I, I, I don't know. If you guys know what that flag is, let me know. But the gun that she's holding actually looks somewhat like a P90. A first look into a gun that actually may come to this game. If you look over her shoulders to the left... There is actually a robot. First look into robots that are going to be in this game. As we already know, this game is definitely going to be taking place in space. Kind of up for discussion was, was there going to be aliens? Was there going to be robots? Definitely have robots confirmed. Massive death, massive destruction. Again, typical Call of Duty. She's dead, probably. This is Top Cat Sovereign. Convert and deploy all available assets immediately. Now, here's our first look into the actual spaceships. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of how they did on the spaceships. I think they look, they actually look quite a bit like, like, uh, they actually look quite a bit like Halo spaceships. So, I don't know how I'm feeling about the spaceship aspect of it so far, but only time will tell. Let's watch more of this trailer. So here's our first look as to what it's going to look like from first person mode. Um, that gun looks pretty sick. It almost looks like the um, the HVK that's in Black Ops 3 now. And definitely a sight that we've maybe never seen before. Probably somewhat of a red dot. Nothing much else going on in the scene. Now here's another gun that we have not seen before. If it, it, it looks kind of funky because it looks like it's just squared off. This is obviously a gun that we've never seen before in Call of Duty. It's just literally just scraped on. It looks like it's just flattened right down the middle. Now, there's a little scene right there that I don't know if you guys could see it, but if you look all the way to the left, you will see that there's a little bit right there. Right right there. These two characters that are over on the left are here are actually using exo jump. They're using some sort of thrusters. So I guess that's somewhat confirming that, at least in the campaign, there's going to be that double jump, that exo suit. I don't know. Put down in the comments down below if you guys are excited for that, if you're not really looking forward to that. But there was definitely a big debate as to whether this game was just going to be boots on the ground or if this was going to be having the jetpacks and the thrusters. But like I said before, this is only a campaign trailer. So is that going to carry over to multiplayer? We don't exactly know. But definitely world. you can see him over there How using it. Now that scene right there, I'm going to go back a little bit because as you can see... The history of the world. So as you can see in the scene right here, he's actually got a grenade and he's winding it up. But if you listen closely, this is what you're going to hear. Now that grenade sounds a lot like the grenades that were in a bunch of the other Call of Duties, the Semtex grenades. They're kind of the more sticky grenades that actually didn't really make it into the last couple Call of Duties. So hopefully that means that they're going to be bringing back Semtex grenades.
Now, I froze it on this little section right here. I went back a little bit because if you look, that was that gun that we saw before. And it actually looks like it had some type of some type of electric, some type of, you know, shockwave coming through. So definitely, you know, are we going to see those type of guns, those futuristic electric guns, you know, stuff like that? Because, you know, you can't really technically you can't use regular guns in space. So I'm wondering what kind of guns are going to be substituting into the space warfare. Just some dude about to get completely dead. Look at the guy down there. He's about to take that, whatever that is. We have no precedent for this. We have no playbook for this. Our and first look at another ship here. Guys getting destroyed. Let me make our situation absolutely clear. This is our first look at the inside of what the fighting is actually going to be. I don't know if, like I said before, I don't know if this is going to transition into multiplayer. So I don't know if, I don't know if we're going to be flying jets, flying planes, or anything like that. But this is definitely a cool little Excellent. aspect of this right here. Godspeed, captains. So we're definitely, we're taking off into space. We're thrusting out of the earth into space. So now what we're seeing here is actual 100% space battle. Like this is legit space battle. You're in a freaking spaceship. You're battling other spaceships. I mean, how cool is that? But like I said before, I don't know if this is actually going to transition over to multiplayer. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would think that'd be cool. Like a game mode where you could be flying ships around and, and killing other people like that. Wow, complete destruction. Now, I wanted to stop it on this scene right here because, you know, this may be a insight into battling on another planet because this doesn't give a feel that we're actually on Earth. I mean, it could be some more space battling. All right, so this is the girl that I was talking about before. This is her once again, and we're looking at another new gun. Don't know what kind of gun it is. It doesn't look like it's an electric gun like the other ones. How they're going to integrate these type of guns into space. dead people floating so this is something interesting pretty too so this is a giant tank in a giant robot fighting as you as you can see a little bit down below right over here that he that this robot actually has a claw and it's some missiles i don't know if this is an ai controlled or if you're going to be actually fighting along with it definitely a cool little piece of information in here i want to hope that's on our side Whoa, okay, okay, let's go back, let's go back. All right, so as you can see in this scene, this is the logo for, obviously, I'm gonna say that that's the bad guys that are in this game, and it just completely annihilates him, rips off his helmet so he can't breathe anymore. That's nuts. Okay, so here's here's something that's kind of confusing. So our robots are friends in this game. That's I think that's going to be a big question that's going to be going forward because here I am floating off in the middle of nowhere and we have this little robot, AI controlled or not, that actually comes and saves us. And throws us back in. But then here we are. Now we have this robot who's actually trying to kill us. So there's a lot of confusion as to whether the robots are good robots or bad robots. Another look into that huge robot that we saw before that was farting the tank. Glad he's on our side. Again, here is that main character, that girl. She looks like she's in some type. She looks like she's in some type of uh, Navy outfit. However, I don't know if the Navy will play a big role into this game because it's kind of in the space. So maybe there's going to be something with the Navy transitioning into space warfare. Who knows? This is definitely not Earth. That, if anything, unless this, unless they're not considering like real planets, that looks like Saturn. I mean, this is a if this is what the game's actually going to look like, it looks super beautiful, which is really nice to see because everybody hated Call of Duty Ghosts because the colors were so washed out. But if you look at this scene right here, it is absolutely gorgeous.
So there it is, guys. There is the end of the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer. If you guys enjoyed my little breakdown and interpretation of it, smash the like button. Subscribe down below if you are new. Um, it, it wasn't the most in-depth. I was just kind of watching and kind of enjoying it and spotting different things as I went along. Everybody should know who LEA is. If you don't, um, he did an excellent, excellent video. He went f literally frame by frame. I think it's like a half an hour video where he went frame by frame and uncovered all these details. I'll put the link to his video down in the description. Um, you, he he does a fantastic job as always. Um, but however, after this, you can see that there's still probably in another 45 seconds to a minute, and that's actually footage of the remake of Call of Duty 4. So if we break 50 likes on this video, I'll do a breakdown of that trailer. Thank you guys so much for making me a party day. Once again, my name is Beef, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.